But we begin tonight with IPS and the decision to have more than 30,000 students starting with remote learning this fall. CBS 4's Melissa Crash is in the newsroom with more on why IPS kids won't return to the classroom anytime soon. Melissa? Yes, that's right. I spoke with Superintendent Alicia Johnson just a few hours ago and she explained why IPS decided to make the change. She said the high numbers of COVID-19 in Marion County has pushed the district to make this tough decision. The administration will recommend to the IPS Board of School Commissioners that the school year should begin 100% online for all students. That's for when school starts on August 17th. Now, if approved, in-person learning will be delayed until at least October. Super Superintendent Johnson explained that IPS is now a one to one district, which means all students will receive a device for at home learning and hotspots are available. Teachers will have the option to teach from their classrooms or at home. Superintendent Johnson says unlike the spring, the focus will be more on live instruction so teachers and students can build relationships and engage in this new normal. I also think it was important for us to tell our families and staff, here is what you can count on. What I want my teachers doing when they go into the classroom is not spending 80% of their time thinking about, oh my gosh, that kid is four feet and not six, week, six feet. Oh my gosh, I got to go, you know, clean the doorknob. I want them really focused on, you know, how are my kids learning? What questions are they asking? IPS plans to implement a learning hub to supplement remote learning for students who need it, which will help families that can't afford to stay at home for e-learning or those children who struggle with online learning. The district is still working on the specifics of that plan. But again, the commissioners will hear this recommendation and vote on it during tomorrow's board action session. We'll be sure to keep you updated on what happens, but stay with us on air and online for the latest. For now, reporting in the newsroom, I'm Melissa Crash, CBS 4 News.